The next test we'll look at is the step voltage test. Now, in this case, the tester applies a given voltage for a one minute interval and then automatically increases the voltage in steps. And in this case, the operator then first selects the voltage ceiling that you want to test to, in which case then it will divide that into five equal increments for one minute each. So you would start by going to the setup menu and let's say you wanted to run a 10 kV test. So using your keys here, you would establish the uh, voltage ceiling that you want to run to. And then from there, you would hit the selected test voltage and the test button again and energize the test. And now everything else is going to run automatically from this point on. And what the tester will do now is run the first voltage for one minute. So if you selected a 10 kV ceiling, for instance, then it will start with a 2 kV test. It will run that for one minute. The operator can stand and watch all the information up on the display and watch the progress of the test. The time, of course, is shown, and when you come to one minute, the test will automatically ramp up the voltage now to 4 kV and run that for the second minute and so on in five increments up to your ceiling of 10 kV. At that time, the test will terminate automatically and again, all the critical information remains on the display. You can look at your values at each minute and uh, compare then the changes with, of resistance with voltage increase. And the critical factor here is that good insulation should stand up to changes in voltage with relatively little difference. But deteriorated insulation, every time the voltage is increased, more flaws will be brought into operation in passing leakage current from one terminal to the other. And so your resistance values will drop incrementally each time you've increased the voltage. The step voltage test has a particular value. It can pick up uh, problems like uh, brittle, dry insulation that may stand up fairly well to a spot reading test and give you a fairly good number, but the voltage increases will reveal the problems with dried and brittle insulation and they will also spot problems like localized damage in otherwise good insulation. So something like a pinhole, it may stand up to 2,000 volts. When it goes to 4,000 volts, it might arc, and so you'll see it. So with this test, you can isolate problems that may not have been as visible with some of the other tests.